Scenario Client wants to develop a site for a jetty, breakwater and shore facility. Scope of work is topo survey up to the low water line and 500 meter onto the land. Bathymetry survey and geophysical survey up to 10 meter of water depth. Seabed features and subseabed geology is also required. Difficulties no jetty, no control point, and no benchmark. You are a surveyor. As an advanced party, you are to visit the site, recce the area, and establish control points. So, what should you do? As a surveyor, you must have faced with the similar situations. Today, I will tell you what are the best practices that you should follow. This is a step by step process. So, follow me along, and we will be able to achieve the best results for our client. Any deviation from the process will result in inferior quality of a data. And as a surveyor, we do not want that to happen. Firstly, plot the survey area in a Google map. Make a KMZ file so that you can use it in your mobile phone. Number two, find out where is the nearest standard port and the benchmark details. As a side note, Survey of India will charge you 15,000 rupees for each site details and you need to request for minimum three station details and provide the station number and location to get the data. An open daylight robbery. Listing barnacles. Number three, find a suitable location to erect your tide pole or tide gauge. Number four, find two suitable location to establish your ground control point. As a side note, both the stations should be in line of sight with each other and there should be 50 meter minimum distance between them. Number 5. Carry out leveling between your ground control point and the tide gauge. Find the height difference between them. Number 6 and very important, if possible, set up a tide gauge at the standard port location where the benchmark detail is available. Number seven and one of the most important steps that most of us ignore, carry out a GNSS planning and find out the most suitable time when the PDOP and the VDOP are at its lowest. Number eight, set up three DGNSS system, one at a standard port benchmark and two at the new GCP stations. As a side note, if you are using differential, make sure your GCP stations have a clear line of sight to the differential station or the geostationary satellite. If possible, coincide your observation with the spring tide and carry out 48 hours continuous tide observation at the standard port benchmark and the new area tide gauge. At the same time, carry out minimum 3 hours of differential mean position and minimum 8 hours of a Rhinex position in all the three locations in the standard port benchmark and two places in the new GCP station. As a side note, make sure to keep your laptop out of the sun and sand and there is enough battery power. Next carry out another simultaneous DGNSS and Rhinex position after about 12 hours to 16 hours of original observation. This is required for repeatability. Lastly, upload all your Rhinex data to OSPOS, OPUS or CSRS. Check out this video here to know how to do that. So what can we do with all this data recording? With 4 high water and 3 low water observed at both the places, we can do a transfer of sounding datum from the standard port to our new location. Number two, in the new tide gauge, we can do a multiple Dootson filter observation and find out the mean sea level value. Number three, simultaneous DGNSS observation at both the location will enable us to transfer the benchmark height from the standard port to our location. Three hours of DGNSS mean position and eight hours of a Rhinex observation will establish our ground control point with very accurate position and height. And with the second set of observation, you have the repeatability proof. And number five, you have also created a valid benchmark 
to carry out your topo survey as well as your bathymetry and geophysical survey and all the data will be tied to the same benchmark so how much time did you spend 3 days 4 days time spent on initial preparation will go a long way for a successful survey and if you took a shortcut it will come back to bite your ass some day when all the basics and all the datums horizontal datum and vertical datums are in place any tom dick and harry can do rest of the work as a surveyor it is our job to break the ground and stomp the bushes and get the basics right because if a surveyor won't do it nobody can